Hey y'all, welcome to Pratt Made That. On today's video, I'm showing you my take on a Blastgate box. I start by ripping three quarter inch plywood to three and a half inch strips. I then follow it up with half inch wide dados that are a quarter inch deep. I'm using two inch PVC for the entire dust collection system. So the inlets and outlets of the Blastgate box are going to be two inch couplers. The outside dimension is two and three quarters. So I'm using a two and a half inch hole saw and a drum sander to make a template to route out the holes. The half inch dados that I cut earlier are to accept this foam window seal. It's a half inch thick by 3 8 deep, but the dado is only a quarter inch to allow the foam to help push on the wood and hopefully seal the gap. To adhere the foam to the wood, I'm using some spray adhesive Loctite. Then after a little bit of trimming of the foam, it's time to cut the back panel. I went ahead and glued the back panel on, hoping it'll act as a sealer in itself. I probably used more screws than necessary, but hey, in this case, you better safe than sorry. Here I'm determining the length of the slider and figuring out where the hard stops need to go so that it lines up with the two outer holes. After sanding with some 220 grit sandpaper, I'm applying some Johnson's Paste Wax. It makes a huge difference on wood to wood surfaces. Now for some plexiglass. I'm using 16 inch plexiglass that I happen to have sitting around the shop. The benefit to using the plexiglass versus another piece of wood is it allows you to see that the wood slider is lining up with the holes. Sure, you could put markings on the slider itself if you didn't want to use plexiglass, but this was the direction I chose to go. So this is another one of my personal modifications. I'm wrapping the border with black electrical tape. The hope here is that when I screw down the plexiglass, it'll push against the tape and that little bit of squish will help seal up the edge better than just having plexiglass on the wood itself. And as I went to put the two inch couplers in, I realized there was the slightest taper to them. So it was easier to take the plexiglass back off push the couplers through from the inside and then put the glass back on. Using my jig one more time, I'll go ahead and drill out the outlet. Now, if I had thought about how to mount it before I started the project, I could have skipped this step and simply made the quarter inch piece that's on the back of the box a little bit wider, but I didn't. So I'm simply adding one more quarter inch piece that sticks out three quarters of an inch and mount it to the side of the miter station. Guys, that's a wrap on the Blastgate box. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I do want to say it's not an original design. I 
took inspiration off of other videos on YouTube and made some small modifications to maybe improve the efficiency. I have no way of knowing if it does, but it seems to work. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel and share, and hopefully you know, others will gather inspiration from this video. Also, be sure to check out the entire miter saw station build, the dust collection hood, and the two-stage shop vac dust collection system that this is actually hooked up to. So again, thanks for watching guys. Um, subscribe, like, share, and hope to see you on the next build. Bye for now.